Hey guys, what's up? It's McNeil from uh, Louisa Automotive and today we're going to be talking about the car shortage once again. Now we're going to be talking about why it is going to get a whole lot worse before it get better and I mean maybe even a lot more worse than we think because GM probably knows something we don't know so we're going to get into that. But just before we get into that I want to do just three housekeeping items so just please hang in there with me and uh, we'll get over that in a split second. First of all, thank you for everybody who subscribed and got us over that thousand uh, mark here. Uh, I guess we're going through YouTube. Uh, approval process right now so i'm going to try to behave uh to make sure that our youtube can get uh, approved for monetization so everybody who subscribed thank you so much for liking sharing and commenting okay uh second part is thank you for everybody who's leaving the comments in the description below and the suggestions for videos to make i've seen them i've acknowledged them and i'm gonna try my best to make some videos for you at some point with some of the great topics that you put in there so thank you so much for the ideas because we need ideas as to what you actually want to see and hear from us the third and last one is people who leave in the questions for the q a uh, just continue to be patient we're going to try to do the q a uh, every weekend so even if you post your uh, questions now and we didn't get a chance to get back to it yet just know by the next q a we will address your question in that q a uh, and if it's something that uh, we're not going to be put in in the Q&A, then I'll try to answer it quick and as soon as we can. But keep in mind, we're in a business here and doing a lot of other things. And sometimes get a minute to get back to some of those questions. So just asking for your patience. Thank you so much again. And let's get into the video. Now, here's why I think GM knows something we don't know and why I believe that the car price is about to get a whole lot worse before it get better or even the shortage, if you want to call it. Okay. Let's look at the supply chain. And we have spoken many times about supply chain that where the hell does used car come from? You know, you know, we're not making new used cars. Used cars are a recycle process. You trade in your car to the dealer, dealer send it to the auction for us. Then the rental car company buy the car brand new, they rent it out to the public, eventually send it to the auction. You lease a car, your lease is done, you send it back to the manufacturer, manufacturer sends it back to the dealer. So at the end of the day, cars are sold or leased brand new and they come back into the used car market. It's not rocket science. Now. This pandemic has created a shortage of new cars, which means now there's a demand for the used cars that would have come into the market initially. Everybody's trying to control that and understand what I mean by everybody's trying to control it. Look, for example, when uh, Hertz announced that they're about to buy uh, X amount of cars from Tesla. Immediately after they announced that they buying that amount of cars from Tesla, they also announced that they're gonna partner with somewhere like Havana in order to give those cars directly or sell it to them directly in a pre-negotiated price uh, when it is ready to enter the used car market. So now that's a bunch of cars that traditionally would have gone for the uh, used car market uh, for independent dealers, in other words, like myself or even the franchise dealerships to buy. But instead they bypass the auction, go straight to Cavana and say, hey, you can buy these cars directly from me. Now, where am I going with that? Instead of GM focusing on making new cars, and figuring out, um, you know, like how can we build more cars, which I'm sure they're trying to do technically, but they're looking at the, the other people's money, looking at Kavana, Vroom, here in Canada, we, we got Canada Drive, we, we got uh, Clutch. They, there's so many uh, uh, online platforms now where you can buy used cars. GM is saying that they want a piece of that action. So GM is now gonna launch their own online used car. That's right, you heard that, used car. So GM is getting into the used car business now trying to launch a website uh, called Car Bravo. And what they're essentially trying to do is, is get the used cars directly from you. So now, instead of you going to a dealer and get your car traded in at a dealer, you could go on uh, uh, Car Bravo and GM directly, not the dealers, the manufacturer GM Motos will be buying your used car from you and trying to sell it on their own website. They will also probably be having the dealer network put the cars on there. They're still trying to iron out the details, but it seems like they're trying to be uh, just like Kavana, right? Because keep in mind, it seems like during the pandemic, uh, used cars were the lifeline for the independent dealerships. You drive, it looks like GM was hit the hardest, seems to me. You drive by a lot of GM dealerships and they're almost like no new vehicles at all, right? It's always a handful of vehicles. And if you see any vehicle there, those vehicles are already pre-sold or was special ordered. Um, and they just have a bunch of used cars, even they can find the used vehicles. And now GM is even taking those used cars off the market from their dealers by trying to compete and becoming a used car dealer. So it is very interesting how the market's going. And I'm just trying to see, well, if the manufacturers themselves 
uh, putting weight on the used car industry, trying to get into the used car industry, and and don't uh, take it for granted. Uh, the used car industry, it's massive. Don't don't underestimate is what I'm trying to say. Uh, people like Havana, um, uh, Vroom, all those guys. If you combine them, they got over a hundred uh, billion dollar uh, market cap uh, between all of those online platforms where you can buy cars. So there is some good money to be made in those um, used car. Um, platforms so gm definitely want a piece of that pie but i'm just reading a little deeper into it that's what i'm going to end this video here is that if a new car manufacturer wants to control the used car market and it's kind of different if you're trying to control the value of your used car meaning you're taking only gm on trades because you find maybe the used car market your gms are losing too much value so you kind of like if you want to just control what the the used car sells for I can understand you trying to control your car value because obviously if, if you have a truck selling let's just say for a hundred thousand dollars brand new and in the used car market after five years the thing's already uh sixty thousand dollars uh with that kind of huge depreciation uh people will second guess buying the brand new truck because it drops in value too much so if you want to control your used car market and 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 certify the gm certify those cars and try to get them that that truck sells for you know maybe uh eighty thousand dollars instead uh you control the used car value that means you're maintaining the the value of your, your your new vehicle as well if that makes sense to you but that's not what they're trying to do they're going to sell any used vehicle doesn't matter the make the model you trade it in they'll buy it and they'll sell it so i i think uh that should signal a very strong message to us that uh this car shortage thing is not going away uh, anytime soon when the new car manufacturers eventually can make enough cars to fill the dealerships again it looks like they're still trying to control the used car uh, market because they realize there's a lot of money being left on the table uh, by letting independents like ourselves buy and sell those cars okay so the market is changing we're going to keep our eyes open and see what's going on uh, if you're not subscribed yet don't forget to do that and i'll keep you updated with all of our latest news going on in the automotive industry thanks for watching i'll catch you in the next one peace Thank you.